After you unzip the download, you should have the assets folder and the script file. Copy these two in this location. Restart After Effects, go to Window, and down here you should see the script. You can dock it wherever you want. First you need to add your content in, into the text field here. Then you need to move the current time indicator where you want to start writing. And generate. Now if I generate again and this layer is selected, I'm gonna override this layer. If I want to create a new layer without overwriting this one, I need to deselect it and then generate. Okay, if you work with many layers, as is typically the case, you don't want to drag layers around. You want to place the layer exactly where you need it. So I'm going to select where I want to place it, here, and then generate. The, the layer is placed above the selection. Now, if I want to place a layer above this one, let's try. If I generate right now, it's going to replace it. But if I hold down the Alt key and generate, it's going to create a new layer and place it above the selection. I'm going to use the pause to show how this works. But this applies to all other modes, so we have rewrite, box, line, and style. First, you need to select a preset. In this case, we have uh, pause 1 and pause 2. If you want to change the duration of the pause, you can change it here. Now, you need to select the words you want to pause. And for pause 2... So, these words are, are going to be paused for 1 second and this for 0.5 seconds. The other modes work exactly the same. So first select the preset and then select the words. Over here are listed all the active presets. If you click on the label, it's going to go to that preset. If you want to deselect all the words with that preset, just click on the X. I have these two layers here. To edit, I need to select the layer and go edit. The text and styles from this layer are added into the interface. Now I can make my changes. So add perfect here. And also I'm gonna underline perfect and generate. Perfect was added here. Now, for this one, first I need to select it and go Edit to load the content. For this one, I'm going to change the color of the highlight, which is a box highlight, so go Box and the first preset, Box 1, and change the color to green. And also, I'm going to add some padding to the X and some padding to the Y and some roundness to the corners, so 20, and Generate. The font and color work with the character panel, which is this one here. If you don't see it, go to Window, and where are you? Here, this one. To change the font, you first need to choose one from the character panel. So I'm going to go with this one, and then click here to update it. The color works exactly the same. First choose a color. So I'm going to go with this nice green and click on the first color to update it. Over here are the recent used colors. So if you click on one, it's going to update the primary color here. You can change the timing with a preset or manually. By using a preset, you can control the flow the speed, the 
Petal Grouping. Pause Occurrence. and word pause duration. You can combine these presets to get a different result. For the custom timing, you have the same properties as with the presets. Speed, letter grouping, and word pause, but with more control. For example, you can control the speed with a range between a minimum and a maximum number of frames. For the letter grouping, you can, you can have from 0 to 100%. And for word pause, you have the occurrence, again, from 0 to 100%, and a minimum and a maximum duration, again, in frames. You can extend the duration before the writing starts, and you can extend it after it finishes. You would want to extend the duration before if you want to see the cursor blinking. So I'm gonna add here one second for the start and one second for the end. Okay, for the text, we have all the standard properties, the color, the font size, font family, alignment, line spacing and word spacing. For the cursor, you have the color, the type, which can be fill or stroke, and if you have it with stroke, you can control the width of the stroke, the thickness of the cursor, the distance from the last letter, the roundness of the corners here, and the blinking rate over here. You have the scrolling animation, and the ghost text with word, and paragraph. The delete animation over here is identical with the writing animation over here. And over here, you can set a pause after the words are deleted. We have the, the color of the box highlight, the type fill or stroke with the width of the stroke, the X padding and the Y padding, the roundness of the corners, and group boxes set to yes, and no. We have the color, we have the thickness of the line, the Y offset, when set to zero, is going to position the line at the bottom, and this is 50%. Group lines set to yes, and set to no. We have the color, the type, fill, or stroke with the width of the stroke. 